Let's talk about the best associate level network certifications. This is for those who just want to focus on networking and quite hesitant to learn cloud computing and even cybersecurity. And just to give you a little idea, I have all of these certifications. And so I know what I'm talking about. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, named Steen Armada and I am Career Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, Trivian tutorials in cybersecurity, Trivian tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, Cisco Certified Network Associate or CCNA. This is without a doubt, the obvious certification of choice if you want to focus more on networking career and if you're planning in getting your first associate level network certification. This is it. It's the gold standard in network certifications due to its popularity and all of the knowledge that you would gain. Hiring managers and IT recruiters always add the CCNA as one of the requirements for network engineering positions. The exam covers basic networking, routing, switching, wireless, and they also added introduction to some of the advanced technologies related to networking, such as SDN or software defined networking, network security, network programmability and automation, SD1, and many more. Second spot. F5 Certified Big IP Administrator or F5CA. And I already mentioned these in some of my videos that this is the best complement to your CCNA if you're just looking for associate network level certifications. The certification focuses heavily on F5 Big IP. Now, F5 Big IP is a platform. It's an application delivery controller slash application load balancer. And think of these as a hybrid network and application-based appliance. F5CA is still a network certification though, despite covering other technologies such as applications, security, DNS load balancing, CDN, and other related cloud services. It focuses heavily on data center networking, where our main goal is for clients to access this hundreds if not thousands of servers and applications this certification is highly in demand when you want to work with large companies as f5 big ip is most of the time if not always present and uh, believe it or not your router switch networking knowledge i'm telling you guys it's not just enough third spot I will give this to Arista Cloud Engineer or ACE Level 2 Cloud Associate. Arista solution is starting to gain more and more tractions. More and more companies are switching from Cisco to Arista switches. You don't believe me? Do your own research. Visit Reddit or other forums or even try it yourself. Okay, let me help you. Watch this video. It's the battle of the century. Cisco versus Arista. Okay. Think about Arista Cloud Engineer as the premium level network certification. And why do I say so? Because it's way more expensive, of course. And it's a hands-on lab exam. It's so expensive that only generous companies can afford it. And who uses Arista switches? We can start with Facebook, Netflix, Google, Microsoft, and other cloud giants. What else? Top financial institutions slash banking in the world? Top all companies in the world? Top media slash entertainment? And many more! I will give the fourth spot to Cisco Certified DevNet Associate. Although ACE or Arista Cloud Engineer Level 2 Cloud Associate and CCNA already talks about network automation. 
but those two are not really dedicated certification for it. Cisco Certified Demnet Associate is the only valuable associate level certification for network automation and programmability. And it talks about various technologies beyond CCNA, such as software development in sign, network APIs, infrastructure as a code or IAAC, DevOps, CICD, and many more. And maybe some of you are wondering if you can take this certification even without CCNA. The answer is yes, you can take this certification as it covers basic networking and Cisco platforms. But I highly recommend you to take CCNA first. As you can see, my list is the perfect balance. Generic networking technologies, cloud networking, network to application communication slash integration, and network automation. How about JNCIA? Why is it not in the list? JNCIA stands for Juniper Network Certified Internet Associate. Hmm. I had a couple of these certifications, you know? One is Junos and the other is the Firewall Specialization. But I had them expired. I never bothered certifying those certifications or taking JNCIS or the Specialist Certification. This is the higher level Juniper certification. Um, is it really worth it? Well, in my opinion, maybe before, but not anymore. Yes, before, because Juniper dominates the service provider market. And there were thousands of opportunities in NOC managed services related to service, uh, service provider solutions. Now, mm, not so much because MPLS business is declining. And lastly, Juniper command syntax are so weird. Knowing Cisco commands, you will be able to easily shift to Arista, HP Aruba, and Huawei network devices, as their commands and configuration syntax are quite identical. And speaking of, HP Aruba and Huawei certifications, why are they not in the list as well? Well, HP Aruba certifications are not really popular at all, and the demand is not that high. And for Huawei, since Huawei as a brand is banned in the United States, UK, Australia, Canada, and major countries in the world, Having a Huawei certification is kind of useless in some major parts of the globe. How about Comdia Network Plus? It doesn't even deserve any kind of debate as it belongs here.